Today we got a chance to drive the new Q7 and the new SQ7, the sports model of the Q7. When it comes to how the Q7s look, yeah. a sexy looking car. Welcome to the beach suburbs of Sydney. It's so nice to have you here on a hot day. I mean, we're in the Q7, so you have seven seater, three rows of seats here. I love the size of this car. What has sort of shocked me is that it doesn't feel like you're driving a, a, a bus. It's still compact, but it's got all that space. So what about um, the technology in this car? It looks pretty fancy. You are currently in uh, probably the most technically advanced car uh, on the planet. You know I'm a little bit of a nerd. We can turn the car into a Wi-Fi hotspot. But notice behind us, can you see just behind us here, yes. both of us have got those yeah, Audi yeah. tablets. These are designed to not only be shatterproof in a crash, so they're properly crash tested as a part of the car. And it connectivity, is it all, obviously there's Wi-Fi, there's Bluetooth, there's a USB port that I found. Two. Two USB ports. Yep. Um, you know, One of which is a fast charger. But the, the beauty about uh, this car is that you've also got the ability to completely hook it up to your phone uh, through Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So it doesn't matter which religion you follow. <laughs> if you've got one or the other, it doesn't matter. In many ways, both uh, Q7s are sort of technological showcases for Audi. This car can also, um, has got active cruise control. The radars also pick up people. <laughs> Between the radar and the camera, uh, again, using those two systems in conjunction, you do lots of different things, including you get a very, very accurate picture of what's going on around you. If it needs to, it can just jump on the brakes as hard as it possibly can. Yeah, yeah. Really? It, absolutely, yeah. And, th and this is one of the few cars that can bring the car to full stop. That's the other thing From too. From what? Well, from, from... From 80, from 100? Yeah, yeah, yes. Any speed? Yeah. I always feel safe in Audis, I have to say. I have Good to cars. say, they just feel super solid. So it's a three litre turbo diesel. With Quattro, all you've got to do- you Just put your foot down. Put your foot down as hard as it goes, and then 6.5 seconds later, you're at 100. It's as simple Wait. as that, in a seven seat car. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's get into the other car. Oh, I've got another really cool car for you to drive. So if we're gonna park, notice that on the screen, we've now got a 360 degree overhead view of the entire car. So we're using those sensors. Look, mum, no hands. I, I use it all, I've got it in my car and I just use it all the time. Do you? Yeah, cause it's just- Cause it's cool. Cause, I, cause it's cool and I'm just really lazy. The SQ7 in particular is a Swiss army knife. It's just literally, what do you want to do? And it can do it. You just pull it out and it just does it. So you want to be a sports car, believe it or not, even though it's two tons, um, it can do that. So this is the, it's still a Q7, but it's the SQ7. So S being sport model. Um, so everything's beefed up. So the top, top of the list is the engine. And that's what you can hear right now. Like, so I'm going to get a little bit of squirt as we get out of this little intersection here. Oh! Oh, yeah, a little so, bit of squirt. And that lovely sound is in fact a V8. So you've got two normal turbochargers, which are gas driven, makes things more powerful, faster, more efficient. But this car is completely unique because it's got this electric one as well. It's got a 48 volt system, which is completely uh, groundbreaking stuff. Very, very few cars on the planet have got that. And it is, the, it is the wave of the future, if you like. All cars will eventually go that way. Is uh, the suspension the same? No, very it different. It feels different. Yeah, it's actually got active roll bars. The car will actually prop itself up. So it's got little uh, servo motors in there, geared motors that actually sort of uh, level the car out, if you wow. like. Wow. It's like sometimes an SUV feels like a bread box on wheels. This did not feel like that. This was more like a Panther. This car has got what's known as exit warning. The car senses yeah. uh, if there is a car, a truck, bus, a motorbike, oh, push a cyclist. bike, a cyclist, I mean, 70 metres back, it actually flashes a red warning light and actually that yellow light here on the side mirror as well, just to warn you, don't open the door into traffic. You know what I love uh, on this car? The lights. It's got what's known as matrix lights. Now, what the active matrix allows you to do is turn off or on individual elements. And you've got up to 30 LEDs per element in these uh, headlights. Turn off each individual bit so everything else can stay on high beam except for the cars that it tracks. And it tracks them. As they're moving, you'll see that it actually, the shade no follows way. that car, and but everything else stays fully lit up. 
It was my first time trying the traffic assistance technology. Okay, so now it's fully engaged. Take your foot off. So just tap it to go. It'll now take over. Seriously, I've got my feet are on the floor. Yep. I'm just steering. Yeah. Notice that the lines have gone green and yes. you've got it on your head-up display as well, yeah? Yes, yes, gone green? yes, yeah, so it's right. Picked, the camera has actually picked up uh, the line markings on the road mm -hmm. uh, and actually can keep you within that lane. It'll actually sort of keep you in the basic centre of that lane and then Traffic Jam Assist can cut in, which means it can actually now help you negotiate this traffic, hence Traffic Jam Assist. Um, you know, this thing, is crazy. It's slowing down for you. This is it, crazy. Yeah. I love all of these uh, driver assist features because at the end of the day, we're all stuck in really awful traffic and anything that can make that sort of trip that bit nicer is, uh, I think, a, a welcome addition to any car. What's really interesting about this car, so even though, let's say you don't go, oh look, you know, I, I don't want that extra power, that's not my thing, I just go and pick up the kids. Believe it or not, if you got that uh, base model car, so the one that we were in before, that yeah. standard Q7, and you put all the options that this car has got into that car, um, it'd actually be more expensive than this car, and you don't get the engine. Oh, so, so buy in, this car. So in some ways, if you if yeah if, if you want that extra bit of performance and you, you and you want a car that's quite heavily spec in terms of all the options, this is actually in many ways a smarter buy because of it being included standard with this SQ7 model. So it's really quite clever. When you're buying a car like this, spend the time to learn about what it can do because it can do a lot. Showing someone uh, who'd never seen that kind of technology before uh, some of the ins and outs and seeing her eyes light up is actually, you, you get a little buzz out of that and I certainly did. I want one of those cars. You won't notice it. You won't, you won't miss it if I just take it home with me. There is a butt massager. No. Yes. One called pulse and, your back. and wave, and yeah, and, and a butt and, your back. and back massage. Butt and butt, but, but, say that fast three times. Go. Butt, butt and back, back massage. Butt and back massage. Butt and back massage.